So today I have a wig from Reshine Hair. This is their water wave texture, but it's low key giving me Jerry Curl vibes. You feel me? So uh, this is, I believe, a 26 inch, and this is what the cap construction looks like. It's your basic style cap. Um, the knots were little, but I am going to say it was. They were kind of hard to bleach. So um, you are going to see the knots in my install. It's okay. You definitely don't have to bleach your knots when it comes to bleaching, but I prefer to. Um, I would just I, I would go in another time and pre lighten the knots and then go in to bleach just to help lift these knots a little bit more so this is what the cap looks like and um we're gonna just go in and bleach with 40 volume developer i have not went to the beauty supply to get any more um developers so this is what i got so far and i am just gonna go in and apply that bleach to the lace lightly um you want to do it lightly because you don't want to push the bleach all the way through and and i'm gonna show you guys what i do to make sure that the the knots in the front the actual front front of the hairline is uh bleach i go in and i kind of push the bleach up because i noticed that the bleach is not really touching the knots how they're supposed to and so i will do that um i will let it sit for about 20 minutes i'll wash it condition it tone it with purple shampoo and this is what she looks like after i let her air dry and did her baby hairs and everything like that so we're gonna go ahead and throw go on to the install this is gonna be a quick video i'm gonna use my ruby kisses in the shade 16. i mix both of the colors together for myself and then i'm gonna apply that makeup all on my stocking cap just to make it um a little bit my close to my skin tone i feel like i want to use a lighter color than this because i just feel like my 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 lace and my stocking cap is it be a little bit too dark for my liking so i'm gonna take a little bit of a uh, sea breeze and i'm gonna clean my hairline where the where i put all that makeup on because i do want my glue to stick okay so i was in ross one day and recently and i saw these little painters brushes and they look like they would be good for me to apply my glue so i've been using these lately to apply my glue and i've been loving it because i just don't like the glue to be on my fingers and then the popsicle sticks like it get real messy and so like i feel like this makes me have a very thin application and i actually really like that so i've been using these all right if you want me to add some painter brushes down below like a little kit i will do that all right like these are synthetic fibers not a uh, human or uh, not human but not animal hair because i feel like animal hair will be a little bit more clingy versus synthetic well where it'll clump together and stay straight and stiff where it will like act as a spatula but anyway i'm using boho active and i'm using three layers of that all right and after i do the three layers i'm gonna let it get air dry um well not air dry but just get tacky and clear okay because you you're not supposed to apply your wig on white when it's white but sometimes you know when you got a hairy hairline sometimes that glue don't all, all the way go transparent and it, that'd be okay so well for me it'd be okay but anyway so this is the wig oh I, I did add some liquid gold i forgot i used that so i'm gonna add a little bit of liquid gold so my wig don't slip back when i'm sleeping and stuff like that and i'm just going to apply the wig down onto my hairline make sure you pull the wig in front of the glue because if you don't pull it in front of the glue you're gonna have a a, a, a cleanup you will have to do because your wig will be sitting behind that glue and it's gonna look nasty and weird and you're just gonna be using a whole bunch of alcohol trying to get that excessive glue off your face. So just pull it in front. If you have to cut into a little, your frontal a little bit, that is totally okay. Um, but don't pull it too much to the front. You just wanna pull it a little bit over the glue. So you can just make sure that everything is glued down properly and after you do that go ahead and cut off that excessive lace
So as y'all can see, this is some transparent lace and transparent does not mean clear for dark skinned girl. That means white. Okay. So I've never used Boho's um, lace tint before. So I tried medium brown. I was scared to go to the dark brown because I just did feel like it might, that might make my lace a little bit too dark. So I tried medium brown. I sprayed some in the uh, actual uh, the cap of the bottle. And I used a makeup brush. I tap it into the color. I dab it on a paper towel because you don't want too much color. And then I'm using my blow dryer to blow dry it while I'm dabbing it onto my lace. And I actually like this, okay? So, huh, I'm going to try to use the dark brown because maybe the dark brown is my color because I still felt like the lace was a little bit tad too light for me um but it looked it it looked cool like you feel me so i am gonna try it again I, i'm not mad at this like i'm at all don't go spraying this actual color on your lace while your lace is down because it is water based it is water tinted water colored water so if you spraying that on your glue that you just put down that thing gonna lift up quick so do it the wet method that i'm showing you right there and i promise you it won't you will not go wrong okay so now i'm just gonna add mold my baby hairs down with my spritz y'all know i love me some spritz okay and um yeah like that melt like for the lace just looks good on camera but like i said i still feel like it was a little bit tad too dark i mean too light for me um so i don't know like I, I don't know about the color but i like i love the idea of it i did have a video on here where i was showing you guys how to make that but you know sometimes you don't want to make stuff you want to just go ahead and buy it and that's cool with me like you know i feel it So after the lace tint is applied, I'm gonna just go ahead and take my spritz, spray my hairline, and use my hot comb to make it as neat as possible. Um, it is curly hair or wavy hair, and I've been and I've like I like how having a neat hairline with curly hair looks. So um, I've been doing this lately, just pressing out the front of my hair and then going in and just making my curls pop. So after this, I'm going to take my got to be free spray. There she goes. I'm gonna spray my hairline. Um, I'm not gonna spray too much, but I'm, I'm being very generous. And I'm gonna take my elastic band just to melt my hairline down, just in case if there's uh, there is pieces that I did not glue down, it'll stay down with that. All right. And so I'm gonna take some water, spray my wig. <laughs> <laughs> my little unit she cute i'm gonna spray both sides comb her through and that is about it you guys like i'm just gonna take this elastic band off of my hair after my curls is popping and i actually like the hair when it looks um when it's kind of wet like when it's like 50 40 50 percent wet it looks cute like that but then when she's dry she gets big she has some she has some texture and she has some body you feel me and yeah so you just want to be careful with that if you want to keep your hair um wet looking then i would say use mousse and a little bit of a gel just a little bit of gel and she'll stay like that you just can't touch your hair you got to let her air dry and leave her alone but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for sending me this wig to try if you guys are interested in boho products like the glue and the lace tint i will leave her website down below for you guys because i do get questions about that and yes until next time bye guys bye best friends <laughs>